This is the world's original fruit forest. And apples, the world's apple varieties, this is their origin. So there's a, a huge genetic seed bank here for the world's apple breeders. And it's really important it gets conserved. Shan Mountains in southern Kazakhstan and uh, we're at a kind of a middle elevation where these fruit forests, wild fruit forests thrive. Some of these areas it almost looks like an orchard or a savanna with fruit but it's wild. These are wild trees and uh, the diversity of the fruit is, is quite variable. Everything from small to a bit larger. Most of it has really good flavor and uh, it's a fascinating place to be in. The massive diversity in the understory, not a whole lot of grass. It's uh, mostly broadleaf herbs, um, a lot of species that are edible. There's things in the mallow family, the mint family, a lot of hops, and um, a lot of uh, things like tarragon and other artemisias. Um, really, really cool. Here you can see right here a hop climbing into a little apple tree there. It gives a better impression of, of where fruit comes from and what kind of conditions it likes. Um, it's, it's good proof that a lot of flowering plants and a lot of thick understory vegetation is actually what apples and other fruit trees have evolved with um, in these forests. Um, but then again, not a lot of grass. It's mostly flowering herbs. Really beautiful. Some of it gets quite tall, like two meters tall. And uh, there's nitrogen fixers. Um, huge, huge diversity. Huge diversity here. Very exciting. <laughs> Genetic analysis has revealed that basically all the world's apples, they come from these wild apples here in Kazakhstan. And if you look around, this forest is dominated by fruit trees, and uh, apple being the main one. It's, uh, it's quite amazing. And here's an example of a, of a typical apple here. They, extremely variable, very genetically diverse, and they vary in size from really, really small to about a, 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 a normal small apple in size. Totally wild. Um, everything from green and yellow to red. Um, this one's kind of a medium size. things that we've noticed here walking through the forest is that these apples, basically every tree has apples that are tasty to eat, even the small yellow ones, um, which normally I would personally associate with really sour, bitter apples. Basically, most of these are pretty good tasting, and it could be the reason why they've been exported to the rest of the world. Let's see how this one tastes. Mm -hmm. 
that's a good eating apple just by itself. A bit small, but quite tasty. As uh, someone who's interested in food forests, this bean here is a really interesting example because the canopy here is fruit. So it's dominated by apples. Apricots is another dominant species here. Um, there's some pear and hawthorn. Um, and then there's a few other trees as well, of course. There's elm and poplar. Those are the main ones. Some maple. Um, and if you look around, there's hops growing in up into all the canopy. A lot of hops. So there's like this vining layer naturally climbing up. In the understory, we have berberus and currants, uh, raspberries and some trailing blackberries, um, tons of herbs in the herb layer. We have uh, what we've known so far, there's lots of tarragon, oregano, thyme, mint, uh, nettles, uh, a few kinds actually, and a lot of other species I don't know. And uh, it's really a food forest just in itself, which is quite fascinating. Mm. Because of the diversity of the different trees here, Every single tree here is a different variety of apple. And some of them have scab, some of them don't. And that's the beauty of the diversity here, is there's, there's all kinds of, all kinds of um, evolution going on with apple pests and diseases. Um, so the apples have actually had a chance to evolve here with changing conditions um, because they're, they're constantly seeding themselves with, by seed out here. Let's have a look at this really bright red apple. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Bit of a bit of pink pigment from the skin here coming in. I think it's really interesting when there's the, the red in the flesh of apples. And that's definitely something that's going on in this wild apple here. So there's different colors, flavors, qualities. Super interesting. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. It's a nice eating apple. It's a bit sour. Also quite fruity. Yeah. Here's a really good example of a beautiful female hop plant growing up into the food forest canopy. This is the apple forest still dominated here with a lot of apricot. It's an old apple tree. Beautiful hop vines growing up into it. And a black currant bush in the middle of this apple forest. Quite cool. You can tell from the character smell, characteristic smell of these leaves. Very distinct aroma. We saw some other currants as well. Yeah, but this is definitely a black currant. No fruit, unfortunately, to taste.
south facing slope so it gets a lot more sun and it's a lot drier and it's uh, it's limited what trees grow on this side as opposed to the north facing slope over here and it's um, on this side uh, the only fruit trees that are growing more or less are, are it's mostly apricots kind of sparse in here with a lot of shrub ve vegetation and kind of step herb vegetation and then on the this north facing slope which is facing us here you can see there's a zone right in here all that is apple dominated and you go up high enough then it goes up to more birch and conifer and you can see it all right here on the on the hillside where it gets really steep uh, then it goes mostly to shrubs again um, probably because lack of fertility or water holding capacity for apples. You can see on the top of this ridge here, kind of dry ridge, it's a pretty much pure stand of apricot forest. And really it's more of a savanna, it's quite open, maybe kind of orchard spacing uh, apricot forest. It's quite interesting to see. And the whole understory here is either small shrubs or this really, really rich flowering layer. So there's a lot of tons of tons of flowering plants even now in September for for all kinds of butterflies and insects extremely rich vegetation and despite the dry end of the summer season here it's really uh, really nice I see there are also some big apples out here majority are small and medium but uh, some of them are big Look at that. that looks like a domestic apple Here's a little selection of some of the apples I found just in the few trees right here. You can see some of the diversity. Most of these are pretty small. Some of them a little larger, like that one. But they come in uh, small and yellow and multicolored. Some with scab, like this. Some are pretty bright red, green. These are all trees growing next to each other, um, right over here. Just shows the bit of the diversity that's uh, locked away in these trees, in these forests. It's a nice wild pear mixed in the apple forest here. Quite small, but actually really good flavor. A little underripe. Another perfect eating apple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>